Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Today we are simplifying exponents. Simplifying exponents, it's easy if you know what the process is. The process for this particular one on this kind of problem is you put all the H's together, all the J's together, all the H and K's together, and then all the numbers together. Kind of remind me going up to take my kids to McDonald's for, for a quick meal. Um, when they go, go in there, this is how we write McDonald, by the way. When they go in there, they put all their french fries into one side, their chicken nuggets all to one side, and then a packet of uh, ketchups all to one side. Okay, so you're going to do exactly the same thing. You're going to sort them first. So let's get started. Let's put all the numbers. We'll have a 4 and 10, and we'll have a 3. Let's leave it all there. Okay, and then I have H on top here, and then H, H to the third, and then H to the third on the bottom here. Okay, That looks pretty good. And then I have a J here, squared, and J to the third, and then I have a K, and a K to the third on the bottom. Let's make sure 4, 10, 3. Let's cross those out so I have them all there. H is here and here, so I have uh, one more here. Okay, H, 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 okay. And then I have a J and J, and then a J and a K and K. Okay, so I sorted everything together, all the French together, French fries together, all the chicken nuggets together, and all the ketchup package together. So I have a 12 over 10 over here, and I'll simplify it later on. Now, for this one, what we're going to do is, first of all, if they are the same, you're going to cancel them. So H to the 1 is all that's left. Okay, when you have a J, if it's on the top, it's positive. If it's dividing here, you're going to subtract. That's not a really a mystery as a lot of people think it's, uh, it's a mystery. If you think about it, if you have x squared over x squared, you know the answer is 1, right? How are you going to get 1? You have x2 minus 2. That forces x, u, x to the 0 is equal to 1. If you start out convinced, x cubed over x squared, you know the answer is x to the 1. Well, how are you going to get to the 1? You're going to subtract x3 minus 2. That gives you to the x to the 1. So when you have a division, you subtract the exponents. Okay, let's simplify. Over here, I have a 6 over 5, h to the 1, j to the minus 1. We'll deal with the minus sign in a, in a little bit. Let's write it down for now. So k to the minus 2. Okay, one rule here is if it's multiplication, you add exponents to Vision, you subtract. And one other thing that's really important is this. If you have x to the minus the exponents, it's equal to 1 over to the positive exponents. So x to the minus 2 is equal to 1 over x to the positive 2. Okay, let's take the in that. So I have h to the 1. And then this is 1 over j to the 1. And then 1 over k to the square. Now, a lot of teachers require you put everything in the positive exponents, so this is what you have to do. Let's um, put everything together. So I have a 6 on top, h on top, 5j, k squared. Okay, that's it. Simple and easy. Just follow a couple of rules. All right, hope you got this one. Send you request for any Chinese characters to my channel, and next time I'll try to work it into a math video to make it fun. Don't forget to like this video, and until next time, have a confident day.